Okay, we did talk to uh, the reason that we choose cast iron in our cookware. However, uh, we also talked to the fact that they're, they're quite massive and that, that, that that's kind of a, a disadvantage as you get to the larger pot sizes. Uh, this is a 12 deep and as I get this one uh, full of food, you will notice that it, uh, it does get quite heavy. I would say on the order of 35 pounds as it gets uh, full of, a, of, a, of a something like a stew. Um, there is an option also for aluminum Dutch ovens, something you might want to consider if you use the lar larger ovens. Uh, the the disadvantage of aluminum is a little bit less mass, and that's a disadvantage when cooking because mass equals thermal mass. Thermal mass is your friend. It uh, stops the, the chances of getting hot spots in your, in, your, in your pot, and that stops burning. So aluminum is going to be a little less forgiving, but at the same time, an aluminum oven is still thick. It still has a surface. Aluminum is a very good conductor of heat, so once again if a spot gets hot it's, it's a very good material to conduct that heat to the rest of the oven and uh, aluminum is a, is a reasonable choice. Um, aluminum unlike cast iron cannot be seasoned. Uh, aluminum will not accept a seasoning process. So with aluminum you have to be a little bit careful about things that are going to stick in the oven. When you're doing breads and that kind of thing in an oven you will need to use a non-stick cooking spray with an aluminum oven. You typically don't need to do that with a cast iron oven. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, aluminum ovens come in two forms, uh, a raw aluminum and a hard anodized aluminum. Um, I've had uh, very good luck with a hard anodized surface. It seems to hold up quite well and uh, is, is a kind of an easier oven to clean. A raw aluminum oven will probably service quite well as well, but because it's a slightly porous material, it won't be quite so easy to keep, uh, keep clean. But uh, those are the two choices of ovens. Uh, once again, in the smaller size, I really think that most people would be happier with the cast iron product unless they're canoeing or backpacking, in which case the aluminum oven would be by far the better choice. Um, and then as you get into the large ovens, I think aluminum is a good thing to consider uh, if you're going to use that with any regularity because you will appreciate the lower mass. And when you're doing those, uh, those very big oven uh, dishes, the stews and the, and the soups and that kind of thing, um, typically aluminum serves quite well. Thank you.